Hello, Colerain Elementary students and parents. This is Mr. Clymer. Today I'm going to be sharing some videos with all of you to explain kind of how the school year is going to be. Hope you enjoy. For all of you, including our incoming kindergartners and any new students, welcome to Colerain. Okay, Colerain Cardinals, if you are a bus rider, this school year we're going to change where buses arrive. This is the front of the building. This is our flagpole. Buses in the morning for arrival will be coming in at the entrance right here and filing through and we will be unloading for arrival two buses at a time to make sure that we're socially distant and safe getting the students into the building. Lorraine Cardinals, if you are a bus rider and you are in grades kindergarten, first, second, and third grade, when you get off the bus, we will make sure that you are social distanced and you'll enter into the building at our main entrance. We again will have staff members throughout that area to ensure students get to their classroom safely. Okay, Corain Elementary bus riders, if you are in grades fourth and fifth, fifth, you will be getting off the bus in the front of the building, and then you will be entering into this staircase only. Again, just fourth and fifth grade students will enter into the building from the bus into this doorway. All right, Colerain Cardinals, if you are a car rider and we are, it is the morning, so you're arriving to school, this is the path you're going to take. You're gonna come right up here, just like this individual is doing, this group of people here. You will unload from here, and then you will walk into this door only for all car riders for arrival. All right, Colerain Cardinals, if you are a walker coming to school next week, this is the walker door. The playground is over here and the walking path from the park. All walkers will need to come in this door and this door only. For dismissal, all walkers will come out this door and this door only. We are asking that any parents that are walking up or picking up their children to stay six feet social distance from each other. And obviously, very important, wear that mask for all of our safety, including yours. All right, Colerain Elementary students who are car riders, this is the new car lot. The vehicles that you see in the middle will not be here the first day of school and from this point forward. The parking lot here, we will have a path that will be painted in a traffic flow for all parents and people who are here to pick up their children or drop their children off in this parking lot here. We ask that you follow the traffic pattern and be very patient with arrival of students. We are going to unload one car at a time and try to wait to social distance before we unload another car. Again, your patience is going to become, going to become very important for arrival. For dismissal, parents, this parking lot will be used, but we will have roads four rows total that we will file cars into one car at a time until we fill up the entire row and then we'll move on to the next row and so on until all four rows are filled. Car riders for dismissal will be the last phase, phase three, in this process. Car rider parents and folks that are picking up car riders again need to be very patient as we unload the rest of the building prior to car riders teachers will come out with their students that are car riders and will deliver them one row at a time to you. We ask that parents stay in their cars and our teaching staff will bring the students to you. And then once we feel that we have every child filed in and put into a car safely, at that point, we will release one row at a time. We will have a fifth row that will snake around and then once cars are being dismissed we will start filling in with row one and so on in order for everybody to successfully safely reunite with their families for dismissal to return home we're uh, inside the building here and i wanted to kind of showcase for you the lines on the floor that maintain social distancing uh, in order to keep one side staying to the right 
as well as we're outside of what we are going to now label the second grade bathrooms. You can see on the floor where we have social distancing mats that have stickers that have been put down to remind all students that they need to maintain six feet social distance when they're waiting in line to use the restroom as a class. Okay, Corey Cardinals, this is what a kindergarten classroom looks like this year. You can see that the desks have been set up six feet social distance. And this, this is actually Mrs. Lindley's room. Um, and we are super excited as she is super excited as well to have you return to school. Hey, Corey and Cardinals, we wanted to uh, give you an idea of what a uh, first, second grade classroom looks like. This is a second grade classroom. Gives you an idea. Again, six feet social distance, and the teachers are getting these rooms ready for your arrival. Wanted to give you an example of what a third, fourth, fifth grade classroom looks like. Again, you can see the desks are six feet social distance. And by looking around, you can see that the teachers, again, in these grade levels are getting ready for your arrival. Hey, Corrine Cardinals, this is another example of how we've social distanced our hallways with red tape on each side to keep everybody to the right, as well as stickers on the floor to social distance outside the bathrooms. You'll also notice that we have assigned grade levels two specific bathrooms. This is a perfect example, third grade girls. Hey, Colerain Cardinals. We're in the cafeteria. You can see on the floor here, we've got six feet social distance stickers put down. We're not gonna use the keypads this year. We're gonna do it a different way. Your teachers will take care of that. And again, outside in this, in the cafeteria, we again have social distancing stickers. And in both windows, we have hand sanitizer for kids to use as they enter into the cafeteria line. All right, Colerain Cardinals, I've just given you a tour, kind of gave you an idea of what to expect when you come in. This is just a reminder, virtual open house is 825, August 25th, that's next Tuesday. You will be receiving an email on Monday, probably around three o'clock, maybe a little later. We're looking forward to seeing you and welcome back to everybody as we soar as Cardinals into a new school year.